Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you are doing well. So today we are here with a science chapter, food. Where does it come from? From class 6th. So children in this chapter we are going to study about various topics. Like here we'll talk about first the introduction part. Then we'll talk about food variety. We'll discuss about food material and sources. And finally, we'll talk about various part, parts of plants and products of animals in terms of food. So are you guys ready with this? Let us start with this chapter. So first we'll start with the introduction part. If I ask you, can you eat the same thing in the breakfast daily? No, it is not possible. We keep on changing the breakfast. We keep on changing our lunch. We eat different, different food items in our dinner. So what did you eat in your breakfast? Is it same that you ate yesterday? It would be different. Your friend, what, uh, whatever your friend is having in his lunch box is different from your lunch box. Or sometimes it may be same. But from this discussion, I can say that there are so many variety of food items that we consume as a breakfast or as a lunch or in dinner. So here in this chapter, we are going to discuss all those varieties and then basically we'll talk about the food. So let us start. When we talk about the thing that is breakfast, we should not lose, we should not skip, we should not miss our breakfast or lunch. Because if we miss any breakfast or any food item or any type of meal, then we may feel tired and exhausted. So we need to take food regularly. So why this is so? Why this food is important for us? Because this food gives us energy. It helps us to be active because it provides energy. So we can say that all living things, either plants or animals, even human beings, we need energy to live to grow, to perform various metabolic activities. And food helps us to provide this energy. So we get all this energy from food. 